Hey, how you doing out there? This is Nate, a.k.a. Shadow. This is President Biden with my co-host. Yo, this is Chris, a.k.a. Renetti. The day we come to show up for law enforcement, we got a real story to tell on our uh, state railroad. And we're going to begin. Hello, so, you know, this is President Delight where we bring you sad stories, funny stories, and always keep it real. Uh, here you go, here you go, Ron Smalls, and some special business, and we're going to ask you back. Hello, 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 so, so you know, man, right at the of my going in it. Uh, a lot of the people don't know how you was How did you get the 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 I'm seeing something I feel like College Park. That's, that's where uh, everything occurred. And uh, so when I got, when I came up to uh, the subway station, you see some trains. I came on the last train, so you see some cabs out there waiting. So this, when I came up top of the steps, uh, the whole parking lot was empty. Nobody was around the subway station, nothing. So what I did, I, I went to the right where the phone was located, headed to the phone to call the cab. It was kind of late. My girl, had, my girl had my car, but I was trying to uh, trying to get over here real quick. And uh, next thing I know, before I reached the phone, this white guy in the van pulled up on me. He had the inside lights on. He, he didn't try to hide in the dark or nothing like that. So in my mind, I said, "Say, what this guy? Who's this white guy pulling up on me at this time of night? This after midnight? Because that was the time the station closed." So next thing I know, he asked me, "Where was I going?" I said, "I'm going to College Park." He said, "That's where I'm going." So I get up. Find out that's where he really lived. That he's coming from the PTA meeting. So, so I said, like, yeah, you can drop me over on Route One. I can walk right up to my girlfriend's house, you know. So I got, got in the van with him. And, uh, like five minutes into the ride, he asked me, "What do I hit? What do I hit the mail?" Oh man, hit something in my brain. I said, "I don't know what that means." I said, "Oh no, I ain't into the mail." I said, "You can drop me over Route One. I can, I can walk on up." So he refused. He didn't want to stop. So, so when he was going. My daughter's mother just bought a brand new, it was like a, a new brand new uh, complex on the, under construction. So she bought a townhouse, but it wasn't really finished, finished uh, being built yet. So, so he thought, I don't know where he thought he was going, but I knew where he was at. So when he stopped the engine, I, we finally came to a stop. And then, like a vacant field or something like that. Big old field. And he stopped his engine. He stopped the engine. That's when I was trying to get out the van. And he tried to stop me from getting out of there. But I, like I told my sister, the first thing, when I sent her those pictures, when he got, when he was in the gurney, and they, they was wheeling him away, his eyes was wide open, landing in the gurney. I told him, the first thing you can notice, his belt buckle was unleashed. So when he cut his engine off, that's the first thing you reach for, his belt buckle. So in my mind, I what he thought he was going to do with me. I'm a, <laughs> but he never knew that I'm a... Okay, so far, court situation, right? Oh yeah, I got the court. I was in the county jail for 23 months, 19 years. They kept coming to me uh, to take a plea. I kept turning them down. So uh, I found out they were trying to bring me to death penalty. So they used to definitely try to coerce me into the plea. And that's what, on the lab, but, mm, I think about 87, that's when uh, I went in there and really, it, Went and uh, went and accepted the plea because for some reason I don't know what I was thinking, but they were trying to. I didn't know, I ain't know nothing about the death penalty. This is my first time I ain't never been trouble in the law, no juvenile record or nothing. So, as an adult, been in the military, I still ain't been in no trouble, so I didn't know nothing about the death penalty. So, I finally gave in, which they were telling us, uh, you get a life sentence, you get 11 and a half before you go back to parole. So, they fed me that, so I believe that. So, so. Told you that you were not going to have on your life, sir. Yeah, I'm going to have a 